So this is very exciting. Sat here just outside Ocean 678, I say sat, I'm actually standing, on board the brand new Norwegian Cruise Lines Escape. Uh, it's, it's inaugural, it's happening, it's right here now. And we're just outside in the UK and I'm with the main woman herself. This is the cruise director. This is Julie from Canada. Julie, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I've got to say, you, you've got a, a stunning ship. It's beautiful, you must be very proud. We are absolutely proud of this ship. It is, it's turned out really, really well and it's so exciting to see it now with a pulse. It's come to life. Absolutely, because the ship is nothing without the people, of course, Definitely. populating it. What, what were your first impressions when you walked on board as a crew member? I guess maybe you've seen it at various stages as it's been built. Yeah, I have. And it was more of a construction site when I got here. We weren't <laughs> we weren't in any heels or any dresses at that point. But it's really turned around and watching it come together kind of really makes it feel like it's your home. So you're extra proud of it being a part of it. How many uh, entertainers do you have as part of your team? Because obviously as a cruise director, you look after the entertainment That's and the social right. activities. So how many, how many people in that team? I have 151 under my direction. It's a lot of people. That is a lot, that beats me. My last ship was Queen Mary 2. I had 100, just over, uh, under 120. Okay. 150, my word. Do you sleep at all? Every once in a while, you take little naps, you know. <laughs> you know how it is. But I have everybody from the singers and dancers and actors you see in the shows, but also the people who are running the outdoor facilities, the water slides and the ropes course, the technicians who make it all come to life, and the youth staff and the crew staff, you know how it is. Absolutely, I mean, it's a massive job for you to do. Now, whereabouts is this ship going? Where, where, whereabouts are you heading off to after we, after we sail from Southampton? Well, tomorrow when we set sail, we have a 10-day cruise, transatlantic cruise, and we're gonna end up in Miami to do a few more inaugurals. And then on the 14th of November, we're gonna begin our regular itinerary. So we're going to the Caribbean, we're gonna hit NASA, Tortola, St. Thomas, it's gonna be beautiful. And what do you think is the most unique aspect of this ship? Well, what, what is the real, the real selling point? What, 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 what makes this really, really tick? What are you excited well, about? I'm always excited about the entertainment because that's what I do and that's what I love. And the shows are phenomenal. We have Broadway caliber. We have a Broadway star on board as a part of the cast of After Midnight, not to mention the Million Dollar Quartet cast who's actually performing tonight and for the record. So we've got phenomenal entertainment. But the ship itself, has some pretty unique hot spots. We're standing in the gorgeous atrium here with this stunning chandelier. So this six, seven, and eight ocean places where all the action is happening. And we also have the outdoor facilities, which I think are pretty unique as well. The fastest water slides at sea. We've got the three level rope scores with the plank and it's got five zip tracks, two planks, one on each side of the ship, so. Have you done that yourself? Have you walked the plank? I have not walked the plank on this ship yet, but I've got to do it. I just need it to be a little warmer because my Canadian <laughs> blood is running thin these days. And in regards to, you know, in a sense, the, the day-to-day -day activities that happen during the day, uh, what kind of things do you offer? We offer a little bit of something for everyone. We actually just started with a brand new program on this ship. We have a nursery facility. So now we're accepting children who are six months old into the program with our certified youth staff, the uh, nursery attendant. That's called Guppies, isn't it, I believe? I think we were down there, were there Guppies or? There, yeah, there's a nursery program. There's also a Guppies facility, and that's the programming that we've had for a while, but there's a beautiful facility for them now where the families and the children three and under can play all together. We have Splash Academy, which is the largest youth program and facility that we have, and Entourage Team Club on deck 17. And am I right in thinking you've got you can race down water slides as well, yeah. like, you know, you can race against friends. That's true. There's the uh, the loop slides. They're amazing. The aqua racer as well with the tubes that has a clear section that goes over the side of the ship. And then the, the dual racers where you stand one by one, the floor drops beneath you and you have a race with your, with your friend, as you said. When you get a chance to, to, to relax and you get a chance to do your own thing and maybe eat, mm -hmm. have you tried any of the restaurants on board? I have, I have, and that's actually one of the main hot spots on the ship too, because there's so many dining outlets. We have 26 dining options on board the ship. So- 26? Yeah, there's a ton. So you're gonna be busy eating in this very short period of time that you're on board, but yeah, I have to recommend the Food Republic. To me, this was, I, I never dreamed that it was gonna be as delicious as it is. I'm addicted and I've been going every single night. Now this is the Pubetti Boys, isn't it? They're yeah. kind of from South Beach in Miami. That's right, that's right. And what it is essentially is four restaurants combined into one. And you sit down and you order on an iPad. You can order from any of the four restaurants, all four if you want. And there's sushi, there's noodles, there's all kinds of delicious dishes. Ceviche, they have a dessert bar. It's just the combinations of food, the flavors, phenomenal. And it was a sneak attack. Who knew it was going to be that great? <laughs> really, it's, it really blew me away. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sparing my time. I know this is an incredibly busy day for you, Judy. And the fact that you've chatted to us is we really, really appreciate it. And I'm guessing, say your surname for me, because I'm, I'm terrible with pronunciation, but I'm, I'm sensing Italian blood here. Yes, it's, it, my last name is Valeriat. 
Valeriote. But you, get, you almost gave it a little bit of a shimmy that's as you did it, that. That's it, that's <laughs> it. Well, I wish you the best of luck with your, your inaugural cruises and it's a beautiful ship and thank you very much for chatting to us. Thank you very much.